Shalom, Shalom, Akiyam. First and foremost, I would like to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh Baha Shem, Yahweh Shai, Baha Shem Raka Kwedash. I would also like to give a double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone, where I learned this 144% truth. I would also like to say peace and salutations to the hopeful elect scattered throughout all four corners of this earth. It's just Bayan back again through the spirit and power of Yahweh, Baha Shem, Yahweh Shai. And I just wanted to get into a quick lesson, uh, responding to a lesson that the beloved elder apostle Ari Yamlab did earlier today uh, in his response uh, to uh, Dr. Brown claiming, you know, that those small hats over there in our land, okay, have DNA evidence that they're the true biblical Israelites, you know, which is a complete lie, you know, obviously, because pretty much scripture says that we would discontinue from our heritage pursuant to um, uh, Jeremiah 17 and four, I believe it's 17 and four. Uh, we would discontinue from my heritage. Lord willing, we're going to get that scripture as well. You know, but what this is, is just a feeble attempt, okay, of Esau, Edom, the so-called white man, you know, in efforts to try and claim and, you know, that he's the chosen people, which is a blatant lie, man. Okay, this man is the third part of man. Okay, he's a base man that lacks faith. Okay, Yahweh Ba'ashim Yahweh Shai is not dealing with these people on any spiritual right-hand side level okay they were built to do evil and only evil and this is why the earth is in the status that it's in as i speak they don't have the lot of the inheritance okay these people are not the chosen people and we're going to prove that through the scripture you know this man dr brown you know really made himself look stupid Claiming that Deuteronomy 28, <laughs> 15 through 68 is pertaining to these damn uh, small hats, man. Where it's evident, it's clear that the so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, via circular history and prophecy, are the chosen people, okay? And fit the curses like a winter cotton glove, man. So through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai, before I show this quick clip, right? Let's get this real quick. You know, because Evil E is a, a carnal man. You know, trying to claim that they have ge uh, genealogical and DNA evidence. No, you don't. Okay, you're a lying bastard. You don't have that evidence because it's not there. You can't trace it all the way back. What you devils have done is you've you stolen, okay, a heritage that doesn't belong to you is what you've done. And the spirit bears witness with the spirit that we are the children of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. As far as us so called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans are concerned, man. And there will be speckled birds. Because of why? Deuteronomy 28 and 64. Us being scattered throughout all four corners of the earth. So there's going to be Israelites that look like the other nations. Contrary to what you devils believe, you, can't, you are what your father is. Why? Because the man carries the seed, not the woman. And there's many angles, you know, we can come at, you know, and contrary to what this damn devil, Dr. Brown's talking about. But what I want to do is I want to keep it strictly spiritual and prophetic. Prophecy is what's going to uh, testify against what this man's talking about. See, the testimony of our Lord Yahweh Shai is the spirit of prophecy, which they clearly lack. And the phone chimed in. And it's the beloved brothers out of Texas. Because these damn devils, okay, they're trying to use tangible evidence. Dr. Brown's trying to use tangible evidence. We've, we've, uh, 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 preserve the, 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 the Bible, the language, the, 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 this, that, and the third. 
No, you stole, okay? A heritage is what you've done. Okay, it's clear Yahweh Bashim Yahweh is not dealing with you people. You people, we're not even supposed to be in the land. That land is cursed. Scripture says that the Lord will bring us back. There, there shouldn't be any more war. War should be uh, pursuant to what's that? Um, is that Micah 4? Micah the fourth chapter? There shouldn't be war no more. All the nations should be coming to Israel, the high mountain. And learning, learning Jacob, the ways of Jacob. What? That's not going on. There's all manners of wickedness going on throughout all four corners of the earth. So, that, like I was saying, there's many ways we can we can go into this. But I'm gonna try to keep it spiritual and prophetic through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bash and Yahweh Shai. Let's grab this in the book of Saint John, chapter six, and verse sixty-three, and it reads: "It is the Spirit that quickeneth the Holy Spirit." Okay, is what is what is what has made us alive. Okay, that word quicken means to be made alive. And you can clearly see <laughs> that our people for the majority, they're in a dead state. You see our people in the, for the majority, so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, through subscribing to the ways of Esau, celebrating all of his pagan holidays, completely disobedient to their power. And getting put to death at an, at an amazing rate because of their disobedience. And then you have another group of so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans that have turned back to their power and spirit and in truth. Okay? And you can see the blessings on top of blessings on top of blessings that Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai is putting on his hopeful elect. You see? The spirit is bearing witness with the spirit. That we are the chosen people, man. You damn people are, are, are humping walls and, and, and circumcising children, little boys with your mouth. This is not scriptural. Anyways, let's continue on. The flesh profiteth nothing. You see? So your DNA evidence, your uh, genealogical uh, results... It profiteth nothing. It proves nothing. Because the Spirit's clearly not resting upon you people, man. You Amalekites, man. That don't fear the Lord pursuing the Deuteronomy 25. <laughs> and it's going to be found out, okay, as we continue to inch closer and closer and closer to the end of your rulership, who Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai is truly dealing with. It's going to continue to reign evident. That our so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans are the chosen people. Let's continue on. The words that I speak unto you, they are spirit and they are life. Let's grab this clip real quick. And Lord willing, you know, this man's throwing around that JW-ish like crazy. But hey, it's all through the spirit and the power of Yahweh, Bashim Yahweh Shai. So be it. Sixth proof, the chart ignores the real Jews who preserve the Hebrew Bible and Hebrew language. It is the people that the world recognizes as Jews today who suffered the terrible curses of Deuteronomy 28. Not all the peoples listed on the chart who, to repeat, with rare exception, have no connection whatsoever to ancient Israel. This, of course, does not minimize for a second the horrible sufferings of African-Americans or Native Americans in the past, nor does it deny that some African Americans descended from Israel. It is simply to point out who really fulfills the sad history of Deuteronomy 28. Now contrast this complete lack of genetic, biological, historical, traditional, or ritual connection to ancient Israel from the vast majority of those listed on the chart with the fact that those recognized by the world today as Jews, among whom are millions of Ashkenazi Jews, have continued to maintain Jewish identity through the millennia, despite horrific persecution. They have been persecuted as Jews for more than 2,000 years and kicked out of countries because they are Jews. This is highly significant. Just got to pause it right there real quick. The only persecution I can recall that these small hats went through was the Holocaust, man. <laughs> And it didn't even happen in this land. And, and they were traveling by, I believe they were moving around by train, man. Not by ship. 
So they don't fit that Deuteronomy 28 and 68 prophecy, man. What's he talking about? 3,000 years of persecution. You people run the world, man. Who are all the international bankers and all oh, those, those families and the elite that we don't see? Come on, man. You remember how difficult and an unpopular it has been to be a Jew over the last 2,000 years. I can assure you that there are no blacks and Latino Hebrew Israelites standing on street corners in Nazi-controlled Europe shouting, we are the real Jews. These real Jews have observed the Sabbath, kept the dietary laws, and practiced circumcision on the eighth day. They have genealogical connections to ancient Israel, historical connections, traditional connections, and DNA connections, confirming the priestly genealogical connections in particular. And we're going to stop it right there. You heard them. Genealogical DNA connections. See? Which is a blatant lie. But this is what these devils do. They lie. They lie out their yellow teeth, man. Because again, we've been quoting it. Let's go get it. That Jeremiah 17. This is not written for nothing, man. The book of Jeremiah chapter 17 in verse 4 and it reads, And thou, even thyself. Okay, and the Lord was speaking to Jeremiah. See, even Jeremiah. The whole nation discontinued from that heritage, man. All right, let's continue on. And thou, even thyself, shall discontinue from thine heritage that I gave thee. Let's stop right there. Let's get this word discontinue real quick. Let's just get a simple Google search. All right. Discontinue. Discontinue. All right. Cease doing or providing something. Typically something provided on a regular basis. All right. Stop making, right, a particular product. Uh, let's get some, uh, let's get this cease taken. Let's get some similar words, right? To stop. All right. This is what discontinue goes. Some similar words for discontinue. Stop. End. Terminate. Put an end to. All right. Finish. Cancel. Drop, do away with, suspend, abolish, man. Cease, give up, scrap. Absolute. See, we lost our heritage, man. This is why scripture goes into in the land of our captivity. We shall remember ourselves. We're going to remember ourselves in captivity. This is prophecy, man. That you devils don't fulfill. Because first things first, you're in the land that we were kicked out of, man. And the Lord said he will bring us back. This is, you're not fulfilling prophecy in any way, shape, or form. In real time. Our so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, we are. We're fulfilling prophecy in real time. We're remembering who ourselves, we're, Salakia, we're remembering ourselves in our captivity, Let's finish that Jeremiah 17 because I don't want to. Um, I want to make sure I read that in this in this fulfillment. The book of Jeremiah chapter 17 and verse 4 from the top and it reads, And thou, even thyself, right? Even Jeremiah, right? Shall discontinue from thine heritage. All right? That I gave thee and I will cause thee to serve thine enemies in the land which thou knowest not. For ye have kindled a fire in my anger, which shall burn forever. We're not going to be in our land. Here, it says it right here. Which thou know, we will serve our enemies in the land which we know it not, man. We are not going to be in Israel, in Jerusalem, in this time, at this time. See? Heathen are going to be in our land at this time, pursuing to, um, uh, Luke, let's get that real quick. The book of St. Luke, chapter 21. Bear with me. I just want to get this real quick. I'm going to go straight to the point, right? The book of St. Luke, chapter 21 and verse 24 in the reads, And they shall fall by the edge of the sword and shall be led away captive and to all nations. And Jerusalem 
she'll be trodden down. Okay, hold on. Let me stop right there. And that fulfills Gen um, Deuteronomy 28 and 64. See? We will be led away captive into all nations. That's a fulfillment of prophecy. What else does it say? And Jerusalem, all right, where you devils are at right now, shall be trodden down of the Gentiles until the times of the Gentiles be fulfilled. What's this mean? Real time, right now, there's Gentiles, okay, that are dwelling in our land. And there's more scripture that goes into that. There's more prophecy that goes into that. Let's get this. The book of Zechariah chapter 9. And verse 6. And it reads. And a bastard. Shall dwell in Ashdod. Man. Where is Ashdod? Ashdod. I believe it's uh, south. It's, it's, it's on the coast. I believe it was. a um, What would you call it? Like a port. Like a port. Um like a port city, right? On the coast of the Mediterranean, south of Israel, I'm, I believe. Let me see if I can get a map real quick. Bear with me. Let's see if we can, I'm sure we can, real quick. Um, Bear with me. Ashdod Bible map. I've looked this up before. Let's go. Here it is. Okay. We have Israel. Right? And Ashdod on the coast, on the Mediterranean seaside. You see that? South of Israel. Who dwells in this land? Who's in this land right now? As we speak. Those damn small hats, man. You see? Them Amalekites. They're the bastard, okay? That's dwelling in Ashdod, man. This is, you see? Let's read it again from the top. The book of Zechariah, chapter 9, and verse 6, and it reads, And a bastard, all right, a dirty, small hat, wall humping, all right, uh, circumcising with their mouth, bastards, man, shall dwell in Ashdod. And I will cut off the pride of the Philistines, man. These are the Gentiles that are trodden down our land. You see, we will, prophecy goes into how the Lord is going to bring us back to our land, man. Let's go ahead. And this is not going to be long, I'm about to close out. The point's already made. And the beloved elder apostle made a heavy lesson. I recommend you watch it. I'm going to leave it in the description box, Lord willing. I'm sure I'll remember, Lord willing. Let's get this, right? Deuteronomy chapter 30. And I'll start at, I got to start at verse 1, right? And it reads, and it shall come to pass, uh-oh, what's that mean? That's prophecy, man. And it shall come to pass when all these things are come upon thee, the blessings and the curse, which I have set before thee, and thou shall call them to mind among all the nations. Why are we got why we're gonna be scattered throughout all four corners of the earth. Right? Whether the Lord, thy power, had driven thee. See? Who is in the land right now? We're not, the real Israelites are not in the land right now. Pursuing the biblical prophecy. And those curses are cleaving to the, tro to the chosen people, man. Those of us that are, 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 are living in these, uh, in these ghettos, and these badios, and these hoods, man. And these destitute, red line uh, 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 um, locations, man. Okay, suffering from all types of ailments. Okay, having to have to go to our enemy for the one of all things, so on and so forth, man. This is a token that would matter of fact, let's jump to Deuteronomy 28 real quick. That's the spirit. So I can let me just get it from here. Let me prove that real quick. Let, as a matter of fact, let's go to the blue letter because I got to get a word. See, hey. The Bible testifies against Dr. Brown. <laughs> He's a lying, mustache-wearing bastard. Liar. 
Okay? The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28. Where's that at? There it goes. I'm going to have to start at verse 45. Verse 46 is my point. The book of Deuteronomy. <clears throat> Salaki, I'm excited. The book of Deuteronomy. All right, chapter 28 and verse 45, and it reads, Moreover, all these curses shall come upon thee and shall pursue thee and overtake thee till thou be destroyed, because thou hearkenest not unto the voice of the Lord thy power to keep his commandments and his statutes which he commanded thee. See, we transgressed. We sinned against the Lord, our power, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai. We greatly offended. Therefore, Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai wounded us with a wound of an enemy, man. Verse 46. And they shall be upon thee for a sign and a wonder and upon thy seed forever, meaning a long time. Let's get this word sign real quick. Strong. Strong's H226. Oath. Oath. Okay, let's go. You jump down to... Uh... Outline biblical usage too. Proof. See that? Proof. These curses that are resting, that are cleaving to us so called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans prove that we are the children of the covenant, man. It's not a coincidence that there's a mass awakening of so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans happening throughout all four corners of the earth. This is not ironic. Okay, nor, nor is it a surprise that there's chariot sightings occurring throughout all four corners of the earth, man. Because that, that great deliverance is going to happen uh, throughout all four corners of the earth. With the majority of the deliverance uh, occurring here in America. Because this, this, this is where the northern and southern kingdom had been oppressed together. The majority of us are here. That's why the majority of the chariot sightings are over America. It all makes sense. Let's go back to Deuteronomy 30 and read down on this. In, in the book of Deuteronomy chapter 30 and verse 2, and it reads, And shall return unto the Lord thy power, and shall obey his voice according to all thy command thee this day, thou and thy children with all thine heart, and with all thy soul, that then the Lord thy power will turn thy captivity and have compassion upon thee and will return and gather thee from all the nations. There it goes again. Why is he going to have to gather us from all the nations? Why? Why? Because, again, because we're scattered. Whether the Lord thy power has scattered thee. And here's my point. Okay. Now, Salakia, verse 5 is my point. If any of thine be driven out unto the outmost parts of heaven, from thence will the Lord thy power gather thee, and from thence will he fetch thee. And the Lord thy power will bring thee into the land which thy fathers possessed. Yahweh Bahashim, Yahweh Shai is going to bring us back to the land. Who is in Jerusalem right now? Who are these people? Who are you? You're that bastard that's dwelling in Ashdod, man. That's who you are, man. Let's continue on. And thou shalt possess it, and he will do thee good and multiply and multiply thee above thy fathers. Because we're going to be immortal, man. We're going to have everlasting dominion. It's never going to end. It's never going to end, man. It's going to be a perpetual rulership. Hey, and this earth is going to be a paradise. And all these curses pursuing the Deuteronomy 7, 30 and 7, are going to rest upon you devils, man, you heathen. You see? This is what's going to happen at the end of the movie. See? The scriptures testify against Dr. Brown. 
The scriptures testify against these devils. Oh, that's the spirit. Look at the beloved elder. May the let Dr. Brown is a joke. Right. The beloved elder apostle Gaba on Dr. Brown's ass. We are on you devil's asses, man. Hey, and this less, this video might get taken down. I might get a strike. Hey, so be it, man. So be it. We are set in defense of the gospel, man. This is what we were created to do. Hey, some of us are finding out, uh, <laughs> you know, later than sooner. But hey, as long as you find out, hey, this is what we're built for. You see, this is our lot, man. Yahweh Bashimia and Shai didn't put this on our spirit for nothing, man, to do this work. To be set in defense of the gospel. See? The true men of the Lord are going to open up on you damn liars, man. The true men of the Lord are going to speak the word of the Lord in spirit and in truth. And no guile is going to be found in their mouth. Let's close out here. The book of Romans chapter 8. In verse 16, we're going to close out right here. The point's made. The spirit, the book of Romans chapter 8 and verse 16, it reads... The spirit itself beareth witness with our spirit that we are the children of Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai. All praise, honor, and glory. To Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai Bahashem Raka Kwedash. Double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone, where I learned this 144% truth. Lord willing, you Akiyam and Akwaf were edified. Barakatha Yahweh, Barakatha Yahweh Shai, Kal Halaliam La Yahweh. Bahashem Yahweh Shai Bahashem Raka Kwedash Shalom.